28 blown saves, the most in baseball. Royals bullpen's given up 69 homers. The pitch. Outside ball two, two and all. So you've always got a chance when the Royals go to their bullpen of getting back into a ball game. Indians are down four to three in the sixth. Blake at first, nobody out the pitch. Breaking ball, and it's over. Two and one to count. Yeah, Paul Splitorf, the Royals television announcer and former standout pitcher for Kansas City, told us before the game they've had Johan Santana yeah. on the hook for losses twice this year, but their bullpen has let Minnesota escape both times. Now the 2-1 pitch from Doman, and before it's made, he steps off. Matt, eight times this year, the Royals have lost the game when they have a lead of at least four runs. So you talk about taking the tuck out of the team. The pitch. Peralta hits it foul down the right side. Evens the count at two and two. But again, as we have said many, many times before, the bullpen is usually the last thing that a team fixes before they they are a, a contender and a winning ball club. The Royals are trying to do that. They traded a lot of that bullpen away. McDougal, Affelt. The 2-2 two -two runner goes. Hits swung on a miss. Bucks throw to second, not nearly in time. Blake with a head first slide has the seventh steal in seven tries. And are they calling interference on Peralta? Yes. Eric Wedge is out arguing with Gary Darling, the home plate umpire. Peralta swung and missed at a pitch that was up and in. And I think they're calling interference on Johnny Peralta. And Eric Wedge is going at it with Gary Darling. And Blake is out at second. Wow. Eric Wedge is saying that John Buck never altered his throw, so how can you call interference? I mean, the batter's allowed to swing and miss. He doesn't have to jump out of the batter's box after he swings and misses. It did not look like Peralta impeded Buck in any way. Oh, that's a terrible call. Well, it is. All he did was finish his follow-through. Whatever. It's cool. I'll be waiting in the car. Oh, did you, uh, get the money yet? Richie. Okay, okay. Who is that? Richie. Oh, I guess I'll have to be going then. No, not yet. He still has stuff to do, so I have some time to kill. Good. So, how did you get your mind off Ben? Well, I remember something that my dad said. That you don't have the luxury to give up when people depend on you. So I threw myself into the work of helping others. Before I knew it, time flew by and... then a dear friend came for a visit. just about cried myself out. I am so glad that you came all this way. Oh, I hope Bobby doesn't mind. How long do you have? As long as you need. That looks really nice. What's wrong? I swore I wasn't going to say anything yet. You have enough to deal with already. What's wrong? I'm not going back to Bobby. Why? He left me. 
for someone else. Oh, God, sit down. He's been so different since he came back from the war. Distant, angry, nothing I said or did was right. Nothing about me pleased him anymore. Look, Freddy, this isn't your fault. He loved me, Elizabeth. I know he did. But then he stopped loving me, and I don't know why. It's gonna be all right. Up next. What kind of marriage will it be? No one I have your loyalty, but Ben has your heart. When Though None Go With Me, an S.C. Johnson, a family company exclusive event, returns. Presented in part by S.C. Johnson, a family company, making every house a home. Pledge does something dry dusting doesn't. Instead of kicking up dust, Rescue me! Pledge helps you pick up dust and the allergens in it. Rescue me! Pledge's anti-dust formula contains allergen trappers that trap and remove more of the pet dander and dust mite allergens that hang around where you hang out. Rescue me! The beauty of Pledge rescues you from dust and the allergens in it. S.C. Johnson Family Company. Want to stick it to grime? Scrubbing Bubbles foam stays where you spray. Stay on just a little bit longer. Unlike trigger sprays, Scrubbing Bubbles clings to the surface. Its thick antibacterial foam concentrates on grime while it disinfects. Plus, it expands into tight spots you want clean. Oh, Scrubbing Bubbles foam. Just we work hard so you don't have to. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Everybody's talking about Oust Air Sanitizer. Oust eliminates the odors out of the air. Lysol's for surfaces. Oust is for the air. Oust Air Sanitizer eliminates odors by killing odor-causing bacteria in the air. You're spraying oust into the air and you're causing it to attack the odors. Just remove it. I want my breath to smell nice. It smells clean and fresh. Get odor-causing bacteria out with Oust Air Sanitizer. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Oust, it works. Richie was a greedy, scheming con, but he couldn't con his grandma Clyde. Tell your grandson that the coffin he ordered is no longer available in the wicker. Wicker? She took off with that old man in my car. I think they're going to get married. Where there's a will, coming in May on Hallmark Channel. Elizabeth, will you lock up? I have to uh, leave a little early. What are you doing sneaking out before 5 o'clock? I want to go by the flower shop. The flower shop? Yeah, for my uh, date. Your date? With who? Carrie Hollingsworth. Carrie from the Woolworth counter? Very same. Have you been dating her long? Uh, nope, this is our first date. Why? Oh, no reason. I just, I didn't know she was your type. I don't know. She's, uh, she's attractive and kind, and she seems to like me. Why wouldn't she be my type? I, I guess I was wrong. All right, then. Good night. Good night. I hope you have fun on your date. Me too. Say, what are you doing tonight? Oh, nothing much. Just gonna go see a movie with Granny. Have fun. Okay, so who do you think is cuter? Gregory Peck or Gary Cooper? Gregory Peck. I love the bit at the end where Gregory Peck takes her in his arms and he kisses her. Oh, it's so romantic. Oh, I could watch that movie three more times. Oh, I'd like to meet Gregory Peck one day. You think, you think he'd be interested? <laughs> of course he would. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> oh, it's Will. Sure. Could you be any more obvious? Ugh. We gotta go. Go, go. <laughs> Thanks so no worries. much. I'll take care of all that for you. Here you go. Yeah, I almost forgot how was uh, how was the movie last night. No, oh, it was wonderful. How was your date? Oh, it was fine. Fine, just fine. Well, you know, it was just our first date. Are you gonna see her again? I suppose we'll see. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I just I can't get these numbers to add up. 
Oh, let me see. Oh, here's the problem. Um, you just forgot to, uh, to include the deductible, see? Yes, I do see. Good. Carrie, uh, what a pleasant surprise. I was just doing some shopping and thought I'd pop in and see if you'd like to have lunch with me. Oh, sounds great. Good. Elizabeth? And I'll be back soon. I think it's time I get my own place. I, I thought you were comfortable here. I am comfortable here, and you've done so much for me. I don't know what I would have done without you, but I think it's time you have your house back to yourself. And now that you're seeing somebody else, I just, I don't think it's appropriate. Seeing someone? You mean Carrie? Of course I mean Carrie. Yeah, that, the two of you are together. And... Together, Elizabeth. Please. Carrie's a very sweet girl. She's charming and, and kind. I get it. She's the bee's knees. And I'm sure she'll make someone else a very fine wife. Someday. She's not you. Well, I Do you, William Bishop, take Elizabeth Leroy to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Elizabeth Leroy, take William Bishop to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Feelings for Ben? Of course I did. But Ben was gone. And I was falling in love with Will. But did you really love him? I still do. Thank you, Mr. Bishop. Do you still think about Ben? Of course I do. Can I tell you something I would never want Will to know? When Will asked me to marry him, I knew it was the right thing to do. But? But I hesitated. Just for an instant. And in that instant, I, I thought of Ben and everything that could have been. Life's funny, isn't it? What 
understanding what's wrong. My dearest Elizabeth, I don't even know how to begin this letter. I understand it has been reported to you that I was killed in an attack on a mobile hospital. I was badly wounded and taken prisoner, and I have spent the last year and a half in a prison camp. I think it's best if I tell him. Yes, I suppose it is. If you don't want me to see him, I don't have to. I know that wouldn't be fair. Well, I'm more concerned with what's fair to you. When you read that letter, what was your first thought? Relief. When your second thought, was it regret? Because I do not want to spend the rest of our marriage knowing you're only here out of a sense of duty. What kind of marriage will it be? Knowing I have your loyalty, but Ben has your heart. Wondering if every time you look in my eyes, you see him. But I do love you, Will. And I love you, Elizabeth. I married Will. When, though none go with me, an S.C. Johnson, a family company exclusive event, returns. Presented in part by S.C. Johnson, a family company, making every house a home. New Scrubbing Bubbles Automatic Shower Cleaner is so easy. It works like this. It covers your entire shower every day, cleaning soap scum, mold, and mildew stains. Which means it also works like this. Cleans a dirty shower in days. Keeps a clean shower clean from day one. Same time tomorrow, lady. New Scrubbing Bubbles Automatic Shower Cleaner. Made for your shower. S.E. Johnson, a family company. Control lingering odors with the oust fan. We are in the basement. The whole place just absolutely reeked. It goes right through the house. And air freshener, they really just mask the odor. And then I tried the oust fan, and that seems to work beautifully. Unlike most air fresheners that just mask odors, the oust fan controls odors in the air by eliminating them. Then I went out and bought another one for the upstairs bathroom and one in my kitchen for my husband's cooking experiments. Everything worked out pretty well with this. Get odors out with the oust fan. S.C. E. Johnson, a family company. I'm very impressed. In Next. Hi, my grandson fell off the swing, hurt his shoulder. Can we see a doctor? Aw, get in line. That line? That line. Worried it will take hours to see a doctor in the emergency room? Around the corner. At St. Anne and St. Charles Mercy Hospital, we believe in treating emergencies like emergencies. We promise a doctor will see you in 30 minutes or less. The 30-minute ER promise. Care you can believe in. Just can't seem to get a good night's sleep? Then hurry to the spring sale at Value City Furniture, where you'll save hundreds on luxurious mattresses by Simmons Beauty Rack and American Signature. Right now, pay just $2.99 for a Simmons two-piece queen mattress set. You save over half. Plus, save up to $500 on select premium mattress sets with the purchase of a bedroom. Don't miss the fabulous spring sale. Now at Value City Furniture. And sleep tight. Fun Week. What's big, Fun Week? Come on, teach teachers. It's big movie star. He's what you call a renaissance man. Having swinging good times. Can you get him to put me down? Big Fun Week. All next week at 9 on Hallmark Channel. Change. Ben! I gotta go 
fast as I could. Elizabeth. Man, I just can't believe it's actually you. I mean, I imagine what it would be like when you came back every day since you left. But then they told me you were dead. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> this is both the happiest and the hardest moment of my life. I married Will. I'm so sorry. Do you have a good life for them? I do. I love him. I would have thought that hearing that would have broken my heart. But somehow it makes it more bearable. I love you. And I always will. I don't want to just leave you and never hear from you again, though. I want to know what's going on with you and what's happening and where you are. So, will you write me, Elizabeth? Will that make things easier or harder? You will uh, feel better. made roast chicken. Might be a little dry. I'm sure it's fine. I was thinking Sunday after church we could go up to the lake. We haven't done that in a while. Maybe stop at that little shop where we had the ice cream. I like that. Bless us, O oh Lord, these gifts that we are about to receive, for the joy and comfort that you bring us, for all your blessings, Lord, we are truly grateful. Despite everything that happened, Will and I were so happy together. In fact, we were inseparable. <laughs> Maybe because all we had left in the world was each other. And then, in 1963, we were blessed with a beautiful baby boy, your father. And he would be our only child. Well, until you, that is. What was my dad like? Oh, honey, he was such a bright boy. And he was the apple of Will's eye. I loved watching them play together. What about my mom? Well, your father started seeing your mother in his early 20s. And she was a free spirit. They were dating for what seemed like a very short time when Nicholas came to us, told us she was pregnant. Were you mad at them? I wasn't mad. I just... Well, I thought they were rushing things. Okay, call me old-fashioned. Then I was born. Yes, then you were born. And you were instantly the center of our world. <laughs> oh, Nicholas just adored you. And he, you know, he was such a good father. It was a side of him I had never seen. How did it happen? Well, they were driving home from Nicholas's office Christmas party. It was very icy. I don't think they knew what hit them. so 
some moments in your life that are impossible to erase. They remain with you forever. That night when Will opened the door and heard the news from the police officers was one of them. As I held you in my arms, they told us that your mother and father were dead. Excuse me. We want to take this opportunity to thank you for coming and taking the time to pay your respects. All of you knew our Nicholas. You know, they say that there's no greater loss and when a father loses his son. We're very, very proud of my son. When your father died, I just sort of gave up. Why are you doing this? I know I'm not perfect. But I spent the last 40 years of my life in your service. And you expect me to just follow you blindly. And you keep taking everyone I love away from me. Why? When, though none go with me, NSC Johnson, a family company exclusive event, returns. Presented in part by SC Johnson, a family company, making every house a home. This is a family company, and it has been since 1886. I've learned a lot from the generations who came before me. My father taught me to never come out with a product unless the consumer can see a difference. We will not introduce a product that isn't better than what's out there. We feel a great responsibility to families who buy Glade or Windex or any of our products. We make products that are genuinely useful. This is a family tradition that I intend to carry on. S.C. Johnson, a family company. There's an easier way to freshen the whole room. Glade Plug-In Scented Oil Fan. The first air freshener that uses a quiet fan to continuously circulate your favorite fragrance throughout the entire room. Hi. Nice place. Thanks. Glade Plug-In Scented Oil Fan. Freshness with plug plug Johnson, a family company. require a brilliant solution. Introducing Windex cloth, the revolutionary dry microfiber cloth that do the work of up to a dozen store brand paper towels for a streak-free, lint-free shine that's brilliant. Same time tomorrow, you bring the latte. New Windex cloth, brilliant on everything. Germs from here end up here. Then germs from here end up here. 
With a fresh brush cleaning system from Scrubbing Bubbles, you get a new brush every time. It cleans your entire bowl to a sparkling shine. Then just flush the mess away. The pad breaks up in water like toilet paper. Say goodbye to germy brushes. Get a fresh brush from Scrubbing Bubbles and flush the germy mess away. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Grandmother's not doing so well. <gasps> She's near death. Richie was a greedy, scheming con. I'm gonna need a little cash. But he couldn't con his grandma, Clyde. Tell your grandson that the coffin he ordered is no longer available in the wicker. Wicker? She took off with that old man in my car. I think they're gonna get married. Frank Whaley, Marion Ross. I feel like I'm 60 again. Where There's a Will, coming in May on Hallmark Channel. Just a minute. Elizabeth, there's someone on the phone for you. Hello. Hello, Elizabeth. Ben? Oh, Ben, it's good to hear your voice. I was just about to say the same thing. Sorry, Elizabeth. How are you holding up? I'm holding up. And Will? As well as can be expected, I guess he, uh, he's quiet. But that's his way, I suppose. I help people deal with loss all the time. And right now, I... I just can't seem to find the right words to comfort you, Elizabeth. I, I just wish I had them. I just don't know how much more I can take. I... I just feel like... my faith is being constantly tested, and... Yeah, Elizabeth, we made a promise years ago to follow in God's plan. And believe it or not, that's what this is. He was my son. He was my baby. Elizabeth, there, there are plenty of people out there who've really, really given up and they need you. They need your strength and they need your experience with loss. Oh, Ben. Just hearing your voice. Knowing that you care. You have no idea what a comfort it is to me. I'll always be here for you, Elizabeth. Talking to Ben that day inspired me. I wanted to do something good with my supposed strength. So I volunteered at the hospital. Thought maybe it would help ease the pain of losing Nicholas. Mr. Thompson? Be nice to go, Lady Chris. Mind if I have a seat? How did it happen? Do we care? Yes, I do. Motorcycle accident. The doctor said I might not walk again. What do you say? I don't know. I don't want to believe that. What does your family think? My family? It's a joke. It's just me and my girl. What's her name? It's Claire. She says it wouldn't make any difference to her, but I don't know about that. What does she want to do with a cripple like me? Let me ask you this. Do you love Claire? Sure I do. And you have to believe that she loves you too. Let me ask you something. What would you think if you were her? I would know that who you are inside hasn't changed. And that the man I fell in love with is still there. 
you believe in God? I made a commitment to follow God unconditionally. And then some things happened in my life, and it made me question my faith. What about now? Now I just have to trust that he has a plan for me, whether I always understand it or not. You think he has a plan for me? I know he does. Will? Yes? Honey, you wrote the wrong date on this check. The, the wrong year. They sent it back. Are you sure? Look at this. You wrote 1982. Yeah, I guess I did. Well, you do know it is 1994, don't of you? Of course I do. What are you suggesting? Nothing. All right. I'm going to bed. I have to get up early in the morning go to the office. Honey, it's Saturday tomorrow. I know that. I have to catch up on some work. Good night, pumpkin. Good night. Uh, where's my kiss? Good night. Yes, uh, it's Elizabeth. Has, has Will left the office? When? Okay. Uh, no, no, everything's fine. I just... He probably just stopped off to run an errand or something. Okay. Thank you. Sweetheart, let's go for a little ride, shall we? Let's put your sweater on. That's me, girl. We have the results of your tests, Mr. Bishop. I'm very sorry to have to tell you this. You have an acute degenerative disease of the brain. It may very well be Alzheimer's, but we have no way of knowing for certain. If you're not certain, maybe the tests are wrong. Whether it's Alzheimer's or something else, I'm afraid there's no question about your prognosis. I wish there was. I don't want you to worry about anything. I'm here. Okay. I know there are certain things I have to do. I'll update my will and give you power of attorney. And we should tell Nicholas as soon as possible. You do know that Nicholas is gone, don't you, honey? Gone. Oh, Will. Be sad when I no longer recognize you. Know that I love you. My heart will always remember even 
when my mind doesn't. I love this time of day. It's so peaceful and quiet. Most people aren't up yet. Kind of feel like you have the world to yourself. I hope I can appreciate this a little while longer. You will. I've been thinking, Elizabeth, I'm going to sell the business to. Siegel, and he's wanted it for a while, and it will give you enough money so that you don't have to worry. I'm not worried about money. There's something that I want to say while I'm still capable of saying it. This is going to be the end of my life, not yours. I want you to go on and find happiness. And know that every time you smile, I'm glad. That was the beginning of the end for your grandfather. Over the next eight years, Slipped away from me. Eventually, I had to move him into a nursing home. It's funny. I spent 50 years with him. And what I wouldn't give for one more hour. Dr. Ryan, Dr. Ryan, Dr. Ryan. Am I too late? No, but there isn't much time. Stay tuned. I'm so grateful that we could touch each other's lives. The conclusion of Though None Go With Me, an S.C. Johnson, a family company exclusive event, is next. Presented in part by S.C. Johnson, a family company, making every house a home. This is a family business, and my father was a great teacher. He taught me to listen to the consumer. Make certain we have products the consumer can see the difference in. Products that are better than what's out there. If we're going to make our products better, we have to listen to the people who use them. People who buy Glade or Ziploc or any of our products. Listening, that's how we come out with better products. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Introducing the Pledge Duster Plus. It's better with a spray. 
The first duster that goes beyond easy dusting to convenient cleaning. Only the Pledge Duster Plus has a multi-surface dusting spray to pick up more dust than traditional dry dusting and clean the smudges and smears too. Now you can dust better and clean better with the Pledge Duster Plus. The beauty of Pledge is that it dusts better. Jesse Johnson. You can use a store brand bag and hope it's closed. Or use Ziploc's new double zipper bag and know it's closed. No more spills. Just one more reason four out of five prefer Ziploc's new double zipper bag. Redesigned with you in mind. You can use a store brand bag and hope it's closed. Or use Ziploc's new double zipper bag and know it's closed. No more spills. Just one more reason four out of five prefer Ziploc's new double zipper bag. Redesigned with you in mind. Three enduring stories in one exclusive night. Love Comes Softly, followed by Love's Enduring Promise and the newest addition to the Hallmark Channel original trilogy, Love's Long Journey. The full night of love stories starts tomorrow at 5 on Hallmark Channel. Sorry I woke you, but uh, I just received your letter. Oh, I wish I could be there for you. I really do. I know. I know. Well, who was a, a good man, and I, I, I think the highest praise that I could give him is to say that he truly deserved you. You're very kind. I, uh, I'd give anything to uh, be telling you this in person, but... My church is sponsoring a group of us to go to Africa. I understand. I just appreciate that you called. I'll call you as soon as I can. You're always my prayers, Elizabeth. Goodbye, Ben. Grandma, I, I gotta get going. Don't you wonder what happened to me? Oh, oh all right, dear. I, I understand. I, uh, I put some cookies in a bag for you to take along. Okay. Lisa, I, I hope you understand that I shared all of this with you because I've had. Grandma, to... you worry too much. It's my job. I'll never stop worrying. I just need to see what's out there. You know? I know. Here. Grandma, I promise you, I'll pay you back just as soon as... Please, just don't embarrass me. Just take it. Oh. Thanks. Lisa. Quite a shock to your system. A shock? Uh, Francis Child, in your whole life you never kept one secret. Well, I kept this one. All I did was plan a small dinner, and then it just snowballed. Everyone here wanted to be a part of it. 
because everyone wanted to thank you for what you've done for them, Elizabeth. What have I done? Oh, just relax and have a good time tonight. Hi, everybody. Tonight, we're here to celebrate Elizabeth Bishop for her service of 50 years in our little church here in the Three Rivers. We have some guests here tonight that want to come up and say some things. I doubt if Miss Bishop even recognizes who I am. I'm on Chris. I had a motorcycle accident about 20 years ago. And I was at a real low point in my life. You know, I wanted to give up. But you put me on the right track. You didn't have to. You didn't even know me. Uh, thanks to you, I have a wonderful family, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm still here. And, uh, and my Claire, she's still here. Thank you. I have been a civil rights attorney for, oh gosh, nearly 40 years now. And it all started in your Sunday school class. Oh, you taught me the importance of always, always standing up for what I believe in. I can't tell you how valuable that's been for me all these years. I just had no idea that I, that I made a difference. So you should be happy. I had all this influence on all these wonderful people, and I couldn't keep my own granddaughter from ruining her life. You of all people, you know you can't prevent someone from living their life. Hi, Grandma. What are you doing here? Glad to see you, too. Oh. I heard. You know, what, what all those people were saying about you. Honey, that was all such a long time ago. I don't think so. So where's Richie? Richie. Got as far as Chicago, and that was enough Richie for me. <laughs> Guess it wasn't love after all. Where am I? I thought about it, and... I think I don't need to go to California. I've got some living to do here first. Oh. 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 to tell you that when I first arrived this evening, I wasn't feeling very much like celebrating. I had been thinking about my life, thinking over the past and wondering if it was all worth it. If my faith in God's plan meant anything. And then you all made me feel so good. I thank you for your kind words. And I'm so grateful that we could touch each other's lives. And I, well, I guess what I'm saying is I feel like celebrating. <laughs> you know, that when I was a girl in this very church, someone very special, said some words to me that were a guide in my life. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back. No turning back. Anyway, thank you. 
again for this wonderful, wonderful. you once that I would love you just as much at the end of our lives as I did at the beginning. And I do. Yes. We lost our chance at happiness together a long time ago. Well, Miss Leroy, you, you're just as beautiful as the first time I saw you. this dance, Miss Leroy. 